What Funcon Limited Funko Pop is going to be the most expensive on the secondary market? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas again. So glad you danced by. You get the right time. We had an all time high. Bumbles out, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Real collectors don't care about value. That's what people say. It's not true. Everybody cares about value. Not if you're a real collector and real collectors for the right care. Reasons. It's fun to speculate sometimes. But I'm actually gonna go off some information that I got from the Funko app. As an example, Star Girl was a drop this year, whereas Black Lightning was dropped last year. They're both DC TV series characters. And I wonder if they're going to be similar. The same goes with the Russo brothers and James Gunn. The FunCon announcements are over. Thank God. And we actually picked out a lot that we liked. We, we talked about this in our previous video. We enjoyed a lot of what happened at FunCon, even though a lot of people are saying it's a big old stinker. As long as I can find one Funko Pop that I like from a con or a Funko Soda, I'm good. Me too. Only if I am able to get that item though. If I'm not, then I'm not good and I spend a lot of time crying. It's typical when con exclusive announcements happen, people crap all over the con. They say, oh, this is the worst con ever. It was so much better years ago. But then when you go back years ago, people were complaining then. So you can't please anybody, it seems. You can please me, it's very easy. All I want is that damn walrus. Oh my God, I thought that was going in a totally different direction. So the limited exclusives of of course, were the 10 inch Galactus, the Russo brothers, Scooter from Tokidoki, uh, and Star Girl. Who's that? Everyone loves Star Girl, Heather. I don't know who that is. I don't know who it is either. We found out there are so many Star Girl fans. So many Star Girl fans. Through our YouTube comments, through our Instagram comments, people were getting pretty angry with us about us crapping all over Star Girl. Sorry that I don't know who Star Girl is. Make your own f***ing YouTube channel and talk about her if she's so great. These limited Funko Pops aren't the greatest limited Funko Pops dropped at a con ever. The Galactus is a meh. The Tokidoki's very meh. Star Girl, you have your fans for that. And the Russo Brothers, the same thing. Not everybody cares to have a couple of directors from the Marvel franchise. People actually care about that one because it's limited to 2,000 pieces. Of course. People only care when they're limited. I need those Russo Brothers. You need to make it happen. I can't do that. You better win that lottery. But I will try. You or better it's gonna win be that your lottery. Butt. What about my butt? Oh, uh, your butt's gonna be in a sling now. You ever hear anybody say your ass is gonna be in a sling? No, I've heard your ass is grass. Oh, I think it means if your ass is in a sling, then that means you're gonna be wearing a sling, like you're you're injured and you have to wear a sling. But for your butt? I don't know. We're getting. Why too... are you injuring my butt? I don't know. We're getting too caught up into this. Galactus is 1500. The Russo brothers are 2K. Scooter from Tokidoki is 1500, and Star Girl is 5,000 pieces. The only difference between all these is that the Russo brothers are actually a Funko Shop exclusive. People who did not win the lottery actually might have a chance at these. Funko is so unclear. So for NY. CC, they allowed lottery winners in, and then the next day, just about every single exclusive was still available on the Funko shop. But for one of the more recent cons, they put everything up for the lottery winners, and then the second day for the losers, they only put up the Funko Shop shared. They didn't put up the leftovers or whatever. Show only could mean only at the event at Hollywood, or it could mean some at the event at Hollywood and some on Funko for the lottery winners. That's what my guess is. I believe they're gonna do like a half seas thing and they're gonna give some to Hollywood and some to the internet lottery winners. That makes sense to me. I like yeah. that option a lot more. The fact that the Russo brothers are shared with the Funko shop, it might mean that they're doing some for the lottery winners and some for your lottery losers. Ah. Well, I hope that's the case because if I lose lose the lottery, I at least have one chance at the Russo Brothers. Maybe. It's very slim, but it's a chance. 
Well, you'll still have a chance if you lose. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's very uh, slim. On eBay. Oh, hmm. thanks. Uh, hmm? You know those people where, like, someone will post, like, hey, I'm looking for this. Does anybody have it? And then someone comments, try eBay. I know. Or Macari. Try Macari. Yeah, that was me right now. Oh, yeah, thanks. I was commenting on your stupid f***ing post. Before we get into all the GasoCast speculation that you love, head over to patreon.com slash GasoCast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you can support the channel and win awesome things like a black light venom and a bunch of other cool things that we put up for giveaway during our live Google Meet chat calls. So head over to patreon.com slash GasoCast to find out more. Stay until the end of the video because we have something awesome to unbox and show you. Okay, so out of the four limited exclusive pieces, the only one I really care to get are the Russo Brothers. And I think, personally, that the Russo Brothers will be the most expensive after all this is over. And let me explain why. Aside from the Russo Brothers, there are two other directors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. James Gunn and Taika Waititi. The con-exclusive Taika Waititi goes for $150. The shared exclusive goes for $120. Taika Waititi isn't limited, and I feel like $150 is a pretty decent value. It really is. And $120 for the shared exclusive isn't bad either. Mm -mm. And James Gunn has been up in the $400 to $500 range before. Now, he's dropped a little bit down to $250. I don't know why that is. Maybe there are fakes out there. Why are you raising your hand? I'd like to talk. Okay. Keep in mind that James Gunn is a 500 piece. Yes, he is a 500 piece. The Russo brothers are limited. People want these Funko Pops to go with their 500 piece James Gunn just like me. I think Galactus is going to be semi-popular, mainly because it's a limited piece. If you sold this in the store, I don't think people would care, no. because we already have a regular version of it, we're getting a blacklight version with a chase, and now we're going to have this stupid piece of sh So who really cares about this one, other than the fact it has a limited number? In the long run, I think it's going to be around $100 to $150. That's a good guess. The Russo brothers, on the other hand, I think it'll level out at 200 bucks. Dang, I was gonna give it a $200 price tag at first for the hype price. So you think it'll drop from the hype price down to something lower than 200? I think it'll drop once people get them in hand, like all pops do, and then it'll slowly go up. But the Toki Doki? Like, I have no idea. I'm sure there are a lot of fans because I don't think that they would make it if there weren't. There has to be fans out there. I'm not saying that there aren't, but I'm not seeing any of them. And a lot of the people that we talk to, I don't see anyone go, oh my God, I love Toki Doki. I need these Funko Pops or I need this limited Funko Pop. No one is talking about this one. I've seen a couple people say it, but not very many. So it's a 1500 count Funko Pop. What do you think this is going to be going for later? I don't know. I would say like maybe 50 bucks. 50 bucks. I'm I'm going to go. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, let I me mean, you're talking that. 1500 here. Yeah. I mean, you're being you're being silly about this. I would say okay, 70 to 90. I like that number better. I think I would go more with a $90. Okay. Mark. So with all the comments that we've received about Stargirl, I feel like Stargirl is going to be a pretty popular one. I think that we were targeted because we were talking shit in our thumbnails, and I feel like it's not as popular as you think. I don't know about that, because we've had a lot of people defending this Funko Pop and the TV show. And they right. basically told us we need to watch the TV show pronto right. because it's fantastic. But listen, if we said, oh my god, we love Stargirl, would we have gotten the same feedback? Probably not, but there are a lot of fans out there of the WBDC shows. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm not denying that. This one isn't very limited though. It's a 5,000 count. I know, that number is pretty high. Yeah, and we're not really DC fans. The fact that I had no idea who it was, like I had never heard of Stargirl once and I watch a lot of TV and I'm in a lot of pop culture groups. I don't know if I'm just not paying attention or if people aren't crazy about it. Okay, so Black Lightning was a 3,000 piece mm -hmm. and he's currently trending at 100 bucks. Yeah. So Stargirl may be around that ballpark price or lower or lower so this one could maybe be around 80 bucks we're thinking galactus is going to be between 100 and 150. Mm -hmm. we're thinking the russo brothers is going to be around a hundred dollars i'm thinking more of 200 dollars. you're no, thinking 100. I, no i i think 200 is fair but galactus right off the bat i think is going to be very sought after because there's a lot of completionists out there and they have those stupid black light with the chase or whatever and everyone's going to go after the chase sets and they're going to want all their stupid big galactuses it's 40 inches of 
and Galactus. It's cool. They're cool. Like, I think that they're cool, but having that many 10-inch Funko Pops is insane. It I is insane. It's not that cool because the Silver Surfer falls off. The head falls off. It can't stay upright. Who f cares? You know what's funny about that? The Funko ladies on the Funko live stream, they had the little Silver Surfer and they somehow broke Silver Surfer off his little piece. Hold on, they broke the Silver Surfer? Yes. So not only is Galactus' head coming off, the Silver Surfer actually breaks. Yeah, and they had to like throw it off camera and not show it anymore because it was broken. That is the dumbest I've ever heard. Okay, so we're going to say 150 for Galactus. We're going to say 200 for the Russo Brothers. Mm -hmm. We're going to say for Scooter, the Toady Oki, Toki Doki. Oki Doki. Oki Doki. We're going to say $90? That's fair. And then Star Girl, we're gonna say what? A hundred? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go a hundred because I think a lot of people who have Black Lightning will want that character to go along with it. Are they in the same show? You know, they're in the same universe. It's a whole thing. I don't know much about it. I'm sure somebody out there will know all about it and they're gonna post down in the comments. They will, and, and they're gonna be really rude about it. Star Girl's gonna be worth thousands of dollars! No, she's not. Don't f tell me that. I don't have time for your stupid comments. All right, so our friend Eddie Hamill sent us a brand new box of things here, Heather, and I think you're going to be pretty excited about it. Uh, he sent us, it says, Chris, get well soon. That's the first note. There is a bloody Daryl Dixon mini. Ooh. It looks to be Daryl Dixon's motorcycle. There's a couple of other minis in here. This says... This is sort of weird with him sitting on it with his bow, but I'm going to leave him there for now. Heather, enjoy the minis. Rule breaker, Eddie. So these are all different variations of Daryl, and we don't own really any of these. I think we only have one so far, so this is pretty great. Is this that looks an like early a, on Daryl? That looks like a season one Daryl. Oh, I love this. Eddie, thank you. Look at that. He's on the motorcycle there. That motorcycle's cool. Yeah, his stance on the motorcycle is really stupid. Though. Oh, I, I, lo I love it, though. I think it's cool that they have it where he could be on the motorcycle. Me, too. And then there's this one where he's holding the little zombie head. Look at those messed up looking teeth. The season one looking Daryl. I don't know if it's actually season one, but this is great. And he has the bows on his back. He has some blood on his arm. And he a has knife bows on his back. Yeah. They're arrows. And that's a quiver. Oh, um, he, he has arrows on his back. <laughs> I thought this was the arrow. I'm just kidding. I just misspoke. So can you stop making fun of me? This one doesn't go on the motorcycle, though. This is how he rides it. It, it looks, looks like, like he's, he's like, about to get a DUI. No, like, no, it looks like he's jumping onto the bike. Sure. He does look like he's getting a DUI. <laughs> and then Eddie sent me this Marvel Zombies Thanos Domes Zombie. Look at that. Wow. Isn't it cool? That is awesome. So thank you so much, Eddie. You are awesome. We really appreciate all these things. This is great. And if you want to send something to us, send it to P.O. Box 133, Annapolis Junction, Maryland, 20701. Send us your letters. Send us some drawings. Send us whatever you want, and we'll unbox it right here on the channel. At the end of every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Tyler C, Shroot Farm Pops, Pablo Perez, Sean Neal, Angel and Gray Gast, Robert Offley, Baron Von Giraffe, Aaron Manuel, Ziggy Piggy 66, and Marcy Peterson. Thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. We appreciate all of your support. And all of your support is helping this channel grow bigger and better than ever. Remember, head over to poppinofftoys.com. They have all the Funko Pops, Funko Mystery Minis, and Funko Sodas at your little heart desires. Head over to poppinofftoys.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.